I bet Frank will get up here smile will be. Uh, I already know he looks like What up, everybody? It's 9 o'clock. It's the Ben Herrera Show. We got Malik and Tracy. There's Malik. Hey. There's Tracy. Hi. Sit on it, pal. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight we're doing a cool episode where we're just in the blue lights. As you can see behind me, there's some... Let's put it on Malik again, as you can see in the background. Hey, you, see that, you see that Detroit Pistons in the background right there? Kind of. We don't care about that. Oh, uh, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Just kidding. Now, he's got his Detroit on that side, and I got the Bulls on this side. As you can see. Oh, you can kind of see the... Oh, I got my Jordan. Don't worry. Anyway. So, tonight we're going to talk about uh, the game last night, of course. Um, yeah. It was a shocking game. I didn't get to watch it, but I saw the score and I saw a little bit of the highlights. But uh, for the, I can't even tell if I'm talking. Testing, test, test, test. Can they even hear me? Oh, are we gonna put the headphones on? Yeah, I'm taking. Oh no, yeah, Paul. Testing. Yeah, you good. Hold on. Test. Maybe. Oh yeah, you can hear me. Testing. I gotta fix my hearing aid thing though. Um, do that again. Maybe. Okay, yeah, we can hear you. Do that again, Tracy. Testing. Good. But anyway, uh, so yeah, talking about the game. Um, I saw the score when the when the Heat was was down. I think they were down like eight or something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, well, it looks like the Nuggets are going to go up by two or two games to zero. And then um, all of a sudden, I see they're up like ninety three to eighty something or something like that. Ninety nine, ninety three mm -hmm. or something like that. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. What the hell happened here? And so, all of a sudden, the Knicks, I mean the Knicks, the Heat are up by almost 10. It was like 11. Something like that. Yeah. And then they barely won. But Yeah, that's expected. I mean, it ain't going to be easy like that. Yeah. Um, You said just when we came in that it was a shock. Not to me. Um, honestly, it's based off the first game one. Yeah. Um, they the Heat were in it. I mean, yeah, you know, uh, they just missed a shit load of open shots, which is mm -hmm. uncharacteristic of the shooters that they got. Like, yeah, Duncan Robinson exactly. shot a three pointer that hit all backboard. Like, yeah. It's win, you know. What right. I mean, exactly. it was, and it was a wide open shot, you know. And that's they win. I think they win uh, five to seventeen or some shit like that from three ball. Oh, okay. Three I didn't ball even... in. Yeah. So they had a catch. bad shooting game. So and yet the game still was. They still almost came back because yeah. they got it within like eight or six. And that's like closest they could got. You Miami know I mean? was in three point. You said? I think so. They were seventeen of thirty five. No, a game one. Oh, game one. Let me check. I think. Uh, game one. They they couldn't hit the ocean, bro. They won't let me go back again. And that's how I knew that, hmm. like, that oh, Miami yeah. would win game two, bro. Here it is. Uh, they were. Okay, there it is. That's what I want. Okay. Yes, they were. They're pretty much the same. 13 of 39. Oh, so they ended up going 13 for 39. Yep. That's. But Strauss was 0 for 9. Yeah. Oh, uh, he went 0 for. Vincent was 5 for 10. Yeah. And uh, that's. Yeah. That's a bad game. Robinson was one for five. And I, and I knew that all he had to do, if they hit just even like three more, it's a whole different game. Yeah, exactly. Because who was the final score? The game first one, 104-93. One, See? Yeah, it was, you know, and uh, what's his name? Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Go. Who, uh, Bam out of Bayou? No, uh, the Nicola. Nikola oh, Jokic. 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 The Joker. The Joker. Yep. He had yeah. 41 points. Yeah. Uh, well, you talking about game one? 
Yeah. Or game two. Game two, yeah. For yeah. It, see, that's the thing. Yep. It's that Jokic, as a player, they show his uh, stats when he scores over 40. Yep. And he's like 0 and 4. That's a team. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. He scored too much. He'd rather be that 25, 30 with 10 assists, 12 boards. Like, he likes to be, he wants to distribute. But when mm -hmm. he has to score that much points, that means he's not getting help. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That I means exactly. everybody else ain't doing shit. So, right. exactly. um, they did a good job. I mean, yeah, yo, the thing is, you, you, you're not gonna, a player like Jokic, you're not gonna shut him down. Right. Like, he's going to get his. He's right. just that good. He's going to get some. The, your job, that's like with uh, with Jordan. That's what people will say, like, we got to make Jordan work in as much as possible, but we know we can't stop this, man. He's going to do him. So we not going to let nobody else beat us. Right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Right. Ain't nobody else about to beat us, so... That's the focus. If you can take the other stars out, get Pippen in foul trouble, right. you know what I'm exactly. saying? Basically making Steve Kerr be the other star, y'all in trouble. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. And so I'm I, I'm not shocked by what the Heat did last night because they play D, they scrappy, um, fucking bam out of by the by you. <laughs> <laughs> you always do that with his name. He, by the by, you finally ba, 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 showed ba, ba, the ba. fuck up. He finally showed up. I don't even really know how to say his name. To be out of by you. Out of by you? Yeah, out of by you. He finally up. showed up. And he was so... Remember I was telling you first game, I was like, man, yeah. we gonna need you, bro. We mm -hmm. need you. Like, your team needs you. And he had a good ball game. Dunking on people and ones. Yeah. Hitting his open shots like Borden. Just being the all star that he is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. He's got to he got to be consistent, and I they made it an emphasis to feed him yesterday. You know what I'm saying? I know Coach said something like, "Bro, you got to come alive. We need you. Like you can't let the Joker just get off like that." And so, uh, you know, Butler did his thing. He I think he had like 21 or some 20 something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He Butler had, I just had it. That's the thing with Butler. Butler, we need they need him to score, but that's not really. You Butler make them, you know, he shows up when they really need him. Right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? He that late game. He could go over October the whole three quarters, but fourth <clears> quarter, <throat> Butler had Vicky, 21. he come alive. He come alive. Butler had twenty one. Twenty one, yep. That's what yeah. I thought. Yeah, yep. and that was that was a crucial twenty one. A very consistent, unrushed, professional twenty one. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Big shots. You know what I'm saying? I take twenty one big shots over fifty five. Just I'm taking over. I, you know what I'm saying? Here's here's what shocked me. Don't mean to cut you off. No, you good. Was shocked. The reason why I say shocked me was because I looked at the Nuggets' home record, thirty-four and seven. The Heat's away record, seventeen and twenty-four. Mm -hmm. But the Heat was at the crib last night, though. No, they were in Denver. Oh, that was Game Two. That's right. Yeah. Trip. I'm thinking about Game Two. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I thought. They, what? They, just happened here. You gotta steal one. That's yeah. what they say in the mm -hmm. playoffs in the final. If you can steal one away, mm -hmm. that's huge. Right. Exactly. So they just gained home court advantage. They took it away. Yeah, but because the next two games are in Miami. Yeah, that's, yeah, or the next right. three games. I think the next three games are in Miami. Yeah, if they win two in Miami, I think they might get to the that. seven. Let me one. go back to that schedule screen. Um. Let's see, oh no, the next two are in Miami. And yeah, it goes back and forth. Yeah, so go two, two, one, one, one. Yep. Yep. Because it used to be two, two, or two, three, two, one, or something like that. So, huh? what's the name of these two teams? Oh, hey, Marco says. 
Hello, everyone. Bless you. What up, Marcos? Nice. Thank what you. up, Marcos? Thank you, Marcos. Thanks for joining the hey, show we tonight. Just, Appreciate it. I was just talking about that, uh, that quinceanera. <laughs> that man with Yubi. And how fucked up I was. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if you knew that part, but I think I performed all right. But... <laughs> hey, Marcos, we owe you a Dr. Pepper. The store does. The store does. Oh. I didn't realize we had two for, it was two for one or something like that. I oh, he chipped you out of a dollar. I'm sorry. I didn't, I wasn't paying attention. My fault. But, um. But yeah, man, I, um, Miami ride high, but I would tell you what. That fucking Jimmy Butler, man. I like, love Jimmy, Jimmy Butler. I've loved him since he played for the Bulls. I think he's a great player. His attitude towards the game. He's mm -hmm. a savage, bro. I'm glad he don't I got a get picture. Shook. I like the way he deals with the press. He don't like them, like let them ask some dumb questions. You gotta come correct with Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. He, like, they ask the questions like, you know, uh, were you concerned? And yes, he'd be like, yeah. said, "We ain't never concerned, man." Yeah, we ain't never concerned. Marco said, yes, I did. Every kid was drunk and high. Uh -huh. John, John Ortiz Jr. says, what's up, y'all? What, what up, what up, John? What up, John? I heard uh, y'all perform well that uh, night. What? That's all I got? Hold on. Um, yeah, I really didn't want to, Marcos, that night. I was going to do it afterwards, but... It was, it was just, I couldn't resist, you know. I'm just happy because I got this picture. Jimmy Butler and the Bulls. Oh, hey, that's on your phone. Oh, that was a big, yeah. me and you went to that game. Oh, we went there? Yes. Wow, what oh, year wow. was that? That was in, what year was it? Why is this doing that? I don't care that that's new. I don't care. I hate staying Chicago Bulls fans. Hey, you already making about them. We ain't even talking about the damn bull. See, look at Oh, John's like, what's up, y'all? Butler. Yeah. It's not that. Give me Butler at the free throw line. Oh, that looks so cool. Those jerseys don't look good on him. <laughs> it looks weird now, yeah. I know. But, uh, I have, oh, here's another picture of him. What's it? But, yeah. Um,. I, I had a picture. Jimmy Butler had to grow on me as a player, like, like, like years back when he was coming up. It was like, you know, Jimmy Butler is a star. Uh, John, we had a great time, right, Benjamin? Oh yeah, man, that was a uh, that was an awesome show. I, I actually was just going to talk about that here in a second. But I want to show one more picture that I got of Jimmy C. Butler, the free throw line, because oh, okay. yeah. you know the Pistons kept following. Why you don't? That was the last game. That's all right. That was the last season at um, Palace of Auburn Hills. All right. Yeah. Well, good. Good for everybody who was there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Here's a better picture. He was moving right there. <laughs> that was a good game, though. Bulls won. I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard the Bulls moving. might be moving to uh, New Mexico. They want a pro team anyway. Oh. <laughs> Here's a cool, here's a cool oh, picture that I got. That's a good yeah, show. That's a good picture. Thank man, you. I missed the palace, man. That was a no. This one's uh, the new that's, game. Oh, I'm gonna say this is Little Caesars. It looked like Little Caesars. Yeah, that's when they were playing and the Pistons beat the shit out of the Bulls that day. Yeah, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks everybody for joining. Yeah, uh, John. Uh, <clears throat> you guys had an awesome show. I liked it. It was pretty cool. That was the first time I've ever seen them live. I mean, I've seen videos and stuff like that. They do a really good job. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to come to the next one, bro. It's gonna be at Collins Park. Oh yeah. Yep, Collins Park. By me a senorita. Yeah. They're they're go. doing the summer concert series, I think. I want to go dancing. I gotta learn Spanish. Spanish. I really gotta get in my Rosetta Stone. I so I can so. Babe, really I can feel the, the music. Basics. It be sounding so good. Uh, I, I just don't basics. know what they saying. <laughs> what do you uh, mean? Oh, like when somebody actually talks. Yeah, the music. Yeah. I love the music. Oh, it sounds you, so bro. good, but I don't thank be knowing you, what they saying. Like, yeah. You're welcome, man. Uh, Appreciate. Hi, mom and dad. I'm on live video. 
What up, Ruben? Ruben what up, Perez. Ruben? What up, Ruben? Oh, that's mom and dad. They used to live right around the corner from us on 19th Street, him and his brother. Oh, well, not oh. just him. But yeah, what up, Ruben? Thanks for joining the show tonight. Appreciate it. Um, uh, Yeah, so, but Jimmy Butler. Um, Jimmy. Jimmy the Butler. I was Jimmy D. Butler. <laughs> He's one yeah. of my favorite players. I yeah, like I was saying, he had to grow on me. Like yeah. I knew he had game, but I feel like it was just kind of yeah. overrated. It was right, like, yeah, right. he's a superstar, Jimmy Butler. But then I'm like, he is. We'll see how I don't think you... how come he ain't an All Star game, <laughs> right? <laughs> but he ain't no superstar yeah. to me. But he started proving himself as that leader and that that clutch guy that wanted mm -hmm. that smoke. With yeah. any other player, and when I've seen that he wasn't really praising other players, he was like, Man, man we, can, we come out here to beat these motherfuckers, right? Like, I love right. it, I love people, uh, competitors like that, instead of uh, doing a Kevin Durant thing and get your ass whooped and go join the dudes that whooped your ass, like, right? <laughs> you, can't, you can't go from a blood to a crit, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you doing, That's man? True. Like, That's true, so. Man, I respect to Jimmy Butler, bro. Like, oh, yeah. I, I've always respected your game, Jimmy, if you're listening. Yeah. But Jimmy, <laughs> come visit us. Well, Jimmy, yeah, yeah right. We like come to have you on the podcast. 49423. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Well, just, follow, just follow us on Facebook. You'll see the address. Right. Yeah. But, um, so, I, I, yeah. He, he's just, uh, I'm, he's where he's supposed to be. I'm right glad now. he finally made it to the finals because I don't think he's ever been in the finals. No. Uh, then they, yeah, then they did. They lost to L.A. For in the bubble, right? No, they. Who was in the bubble? It was Boston and Miami, or Boston and the Lakers in the bubble. Boston. Yeah, it was in the bubble. I think so, because it was the same teams in the finals. Fucking Tyler Hero and. Let me look. Let's do our. Right, do some homework. <laughs> yeah, do some. Uh, let's see. Yeah, what year was that? Smart. 2020, wasn't it? 2020, yeah, that COVID year, right? Uh, hold on, let me check. Oh, I oh had yeah, had Miami plus eight. Oh, see? Good last shit, bro. Night. It doesn't even say who it is. Jack Kings last night. Yep, that was a good pick, bro. Oh, it was Miami. And Miami. I told you, yeah, they got swept. Yeah. Yeah, and so, but, but last dude, year, after Miami got put out, Jimmy was at the podium. He was like, he was like, I forgot don't ain't trip. That. We'll be right back. We'll be back. Trust me. Yeah. And he meant that shit, bro. And mm -hmm. he right where he need to be. And I would love to see Jimmy Butler get one. Yeah, he, he deserves he, it, bro. He does. he does. I'm not saying Jokic or anybody else, though, though. I know the whole story with Denver never winning one and yeah. all that good shit. Yeah, the story sounds good, but <laughs> Jimmy Butler, just his story, where he'd been nice. through as a kid and being kicked out at 13, wow. mama what? kicked him out, put him in the street, 13? said she don't like the way he look. Aww. I don't like the Who way he that? look. Jimmy That's Butler. Sad. Oh, shit. Kicked him out. He's been on his own since he was 13. Couch surfing all the way through. He had to grow up fast then. Yep. Sipping on people's couches. And wow. he said he had stayed long enough just not to wear out <laughs> his welcome. Yeah. And then he ended up getting adopted by a, a oh. white couple. You know what I'm saying? Took adopted. That's good. And now he's a millionaire. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. he said no hard feelings. Towards his mom, he said, "I still love my mama, bro." Right. That's awesome. And we talked to this day. I took care of her. I took care of her, my dad. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. looked out for him. He just that's for me. I'd be mad as hell. I'm like, man, my mama ain't getting shit. You <laughs> keep me out there. Yeah. It's all because of the way I look. You ain't right? getting a red cent. You better not ask me for nothing. Matter of fact, charge her extra for the tickets. Yeah. That does show his heart. Huh? That shows his heart. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Somebody who's been scarred up by life like that, you know, mm -hmm. that's... That's fitting for him yeah. to do something like that. So I love to see Jimmy win it, man. Right, me too. I love to see Jimmy win it, bro. He I deserved love, it. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? So. Yep. <clears throat> so the other thing that we want to talk about, because I had an incident today. Yeah. With. 
Customer service. Oh, oh. So, okay. So, I have Spectrum Internet. And oh, well, a lot are... Matt said, well, that didn't work. What is it? Wait, person said... FUC oh, he K said it backwards. All right, get something back. I'm not sure what Matt's saying. Please come on, Matt Fowlerview. Matt Fowler. Matt Fowlerview. Oh. <laughs> no, you're right. Yeah, I know. Dan so, earlier tonight, or let me back up real quick. So, we have Spectrum Internet, and uh, for the, we've had them for about a year and a half now. And every, I don't know why it does this, but so many times, the modem and the router shut off. And it loses signal. I had to restart it all the time. It's very annoying. If anybody else has that issue, let me know. Anyway. So I have, I've had tech support in here at least two or three times over the last year. Mm -hmm. They had to come in and change wires out. They changed my modem and router out. Still doing the same thing. So I call customer service and talk. So, you know when you go pay your bill and there's an option to pay partial payment or the full amount. You can choose. Gives you that option. So, the lady decides to say after she takes, she took probably about a good 13 to 15 minutes on hold. Trying to figure out what was going on. So, she finally came back and said, You've you're in inter- like 20 huh? seconds. Just now. Oh. Uh, and so the thing is, is she came back and all she had to say, your, the reason why your service is getting shut off or going slow is because you pay partial payments. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> what the hell does that have to do with it? <laughs> I've never heard anybody say that before. Because of partial payments? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. So Malik said earlier, so I make partial payments, so you give me partial service? <laughs> and I told the lady, I'm like, what the? That has nothing to do with my service of how I pay it. She voted for them. And I was like, Are you, did she, what happened here? And so what the fuck? she, I said, you know what? You don't even know what you're talking about. Send me to somebody else. <laughs> and so she sends me to somebody else. And the lady that they transferred me to, I told her what happened, and she says, uh, I said, so let me ask you a question first before we do anything else. And I said, so if I make partial payments, does that slow my service down? And she's like, uh, no, who told you that? <laughs> I said, the girl, Bob, before you did, that transferred me. She's like, uh, that has that has nothing to do with, you know, your service. I said, exactly. I said, I'm in customer service, too. I don't sit here and make things up just to, you know, because uh, I don't know the answer to it. So uh, it's like, have you ever had anything happen to you like that? Man, I've had so many bogus customer service run-ins. Oh, my God, I don't know where to start. Like, <clears throat> I done, I done cuss people out. Like, one day, me and my girl, we rolling through Burger King. We just wanted a slushie. Yeah. We had, we was finna take a ride out to the lake, watch the sunset. So, you know, we had we had rolled up a couple of L's and mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It was it was kind of sexy date night almost. So anyway, yeah. we rolled through Burger King over there on James. Yeah, I put it out there. The mm-hmm. one on James, motherfucker. <laughs> and so I ordered a, a cherry slushy. She ordered no, no, I take that back. We we're gonna get slushies, but we ended up ordering some Flurry cheesecake red velvet thing they had there. It was like a little special. So I um I had got it before. And what they do is they when they mix it up, mm-hmm. they do it upside down to show you that it's not gonna come out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. it's, 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 oh like okay. they do, they, like they do at Dairy Queen or whatever. Yeah. So this dude I pulled up, I instantly first off I heard his energy on the intercom when I ordered. I'm yeah. like, I looked at my bear. I'm like, yeah, it's a bear. So I'm like, you got an attitude. She's like, I know. It was all 
you're like, uh, yeah, you're over six dollars at the window. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, so I'm like, all right. So I pull up when I pull up the window, my eyes go to him and he come over and see us like he was about to come to the window and then he turned around and went back and then brought our stuff back yeah. and he hands it to me and when I grant it, it's like shaking. It's like the stuff, all the ice cream shit is just like, like a glass of water. You know what I'm saying? Just shaking. I'm like, hey, man, look. Uh oh, I said, bro, uh, what's this ain't good consistency, bro? Like, yeah. And he was like, uh, he was like, oh, well, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I said, did you just make this? Yeah, that's how they come. I said, no, they not, bro. This ain't no, this ain't no flurry, bro. This is water. Look, did you see what I see? He was like, he gonna snatch you. I'm going to hand it to him. He fucking snatched it, and some of the shit spilled out. I said, hey, motherfucker, what's your real problem, bro? Don't you ever snatch shit from me. I said, matter of fact, give me my fucking money back. Yeah. I said, I, I was like, if you're having a bad day, I said, or you don't like this job, there's so many other people hiring, bro. Mm -hmm. Or take your ass back to school or something. Right. And, like, he, and then we pulled off. I was like, at this point, I don't trust anything from there. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know, but customer service is different when you're a black man, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, not just yep. that incident, but, you know, like, I have been to restaurants where they try to make me pay first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you, you know what you want? getting your food first? Yeah, so, yeah, but they're trying to make me pay at the front. Like, wait a minute, I don't know, since when? Right. It's a sit out restaurant, I can't sit out. I'm like, what's up? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, like, exactly. Yeah, it's been so many instances, man. Because and that's, I, it's, it's not an easy job, right? Like, oh, hell no. You might people might think it's chill. I mean, it can't have its chill moments. I guess yeah. there ain't no customers, and you got all your shit done. You just sitting there like, damn, you know. But dealing with different attitudes and people day to day, you know, what I'm saying that could probably get a little grueling. Oh, I guess. Yeah, there's a little race in there from Frank. I knew his ass was going to chime in. <laughs> right. That's why I'm going to Finville. No, that, <laughs> oh, I thought he lived in Hamilton. No, oh, he lived in Finville. Oh. Finville. Oh. Something like that. His kids yeah, just go to Hamilton. Go there. <laughs> right. It had to. Hey, it's my experience, man. You know, you're ugly. You don't go through stuff like this. No, <laughs> Look what he said. <laughs> Love you too, bro. Look what he said. Oh, Hello. Yeah. That's my guy, man. That's my, <laughs> that is my heart right there, bro. I love Frank, man. That's my dog. <laughs> you guys go to school with him? Yeah, yeah. big Frank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's an Ohio State fan. That's yeah, the only, right. That's the only part we don't That's like the about. only part we go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mistake by the lake. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, man, customer service is it, it's not an easy job, bro. I see like those Walmart people, and I think they're very underpaid. Mm -hmm. um, I think McDonald's got the the concept of uh, you want to retain employees, you pay them a worthy amount. Because uh -huh. yeah, I worked sure. at McDonald's, and I almost quit. Well, I ended up quitting, obviously, eventually, but. <laughs> Yeah, had to throw a Buckeyes in there. All right, you know it. <laughs> uh, like that lunch rush and that dinner rush. Yeah. Boy, what? Real mm -hmm. tickets thing going on. Beep, beep. You know, you mm -hmm. pull, pull the ticket off and people want a hamburger minus the ham. Like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> How do you do this? Yeah, exactly. All these different orders and shit. But McDonald's paying now. Shit, they almost want you to have a degree to work at McDonald's, so huh? shit. Yeah. Because they pay sixteen, seventeen dollars well, for a, for fourteen year old shit. Fourteen year olds going to make make that bag. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I, I I I very much value customer service. And if we as the consumer, it makes us comfortable to come into a somebody yeah. smile, hey yeah. man, my help you. Take pride in the job if you don't get there. Right. If you're having a bad day, go 
to the back of the store and yell or smoke a joint or something, mm-hmm. and then come back and deal with me. I'll even wait. You know, mm-hmm. I'll, yeah. I'll give you the lighter. I'll give you some weed. Here, I'll help you. You have a bad day, bro. Let me open this jar. Get yeah. you know, <laughs> a couple of nugs out of there. Go ahead and just smell it. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you some gummies. Yeah. <laughs> I will never do that again. I don't care if it's, if it's my life dependent on it. I would not do a gummy. Bro, game. just don't take the whole thing. Bro. I I, know he I didn't know that. Right. That was your mistake. Yeah, I uh, took a, if you guys don't remember. <laughs> I had a, or, a friend of mine give me a gummy. And I didn't know I was supposed to take a piece of it. <laughs> I ate the whole thing. I had a panic attack. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Uh, all I love you, man. You called me and told me I called. Following him in an ambulance all the way to the hospital. <laughs> I went to the hospital. Yep, we had to drive his car before. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't know. You're a good wife, Tracy. Oh, hell no. <laughs> and um, when I got to the hospital, they were like, <laughs> when they asked me, have you smoked any marijuana? <laughs> Uh, not really, but he did have a gummy, and they're like, that's probably why. That's right. yeah, they said he wasn't the only one. Yeah. Uh, what? They had other people there for the same reason. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That's yeah, there, I think there was like two other people. It's very common, bro. Yeah. It's very common. People, because you take it, and you think that it's not working, or it tastes so good, you're like, oh, it just tastes like a regular gummy. Mm-hmm. Next. That's exactly what it was. You mm-hmm. take the money, you think it just <laughs> came from Walmart, mm-hmm. and it came from the dispensary. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the funny thing is, me and her were down here rearranging the desks that one time. I remember, and yep. And no, it wasn't a hot flash. <laughs> it wasn't a hot flash. <laughs> no, and I even went, yeah. Oh, no, it wasn't a flash. <laughs> no, okay, so the guy that gave it to me said, this is exactly what will happen because he's done it before. And uh, so that's what was happening. I literally thought I fell asleep. I'm not even saying because I, I was doing something down here like you shut redoing. down <laughs> dude I was out like for a minute and, I wo- and then I was like was I sleeping <laughs> like I came oh no I was awful to come over that night I'm like <laughs> yeah that's right you were like, dude I got something to tell you when you get here I'm like yep. What? <laughs> he said, dude, I just got back from the hospital. I'm like, what? What happened? <laughs> he said, I had like almost OD. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, I was so weak. I'm like, oh. My God. One time, one Hold on a minute. Let me finish. <laughs> so, um, and I was upstairs and I even went outside. I'm like, get out of my way. I'm going to go get some down. fresh air. This is before I called the the, the cops. Before I called nine one one, I called nine one one. I go upstairs and I'm sitting outside in the porch, and uh, I walk back inside and I take my shirt off and I'm walking around. I'm like, oh my god, I can feel my heart beating. Ooh. And so I'm like, <clears throat> so I sat on the couch and I told the on it. I said, when you know when the ambulance showed up, I was like. Yeah. They're lucky I wasn't naked when they showed up because I almost took everything off. That's when I started feeling getting hot. Oh. I was getting all hot and hot. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? Oh, I said, I said, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, Frank. Thank you, Frank. Oh, hell no. Frank Martinez. Oh, Frank Martinez. Yeah. Bro, listen, <laughs> man. That shit, it ain't no joke, though, man. Like, real talk, it's people that never recover shit you know what i'm saying Dude, i'll never do that again cover from that shock they like damn i'm permanently fucked up i i know oh, what dude well it was a gummy but he smoked a joint that had some some extra on it he ain't been the same since See, that's scary. he ain't been the same that's since not cool. that's not mm. cool. lost all his college offers for basketball and everything oh shit. so it ain't no joke out here bro like yeah for real that's why when i was in high school my mom Found out that I was smoking, you know what I'm saying? But it's not cool to so overdose. Like, uh, oh, okay, he says, being the first responder on the fire department, you would have believed how many calls we've been 
respond to the poor people if they come down east? Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, sure. Frank. It's that so common, bro. It's so common. It happens so well, much. Well, now that I know not to take the whole thing, I'm right. still not going to eat them. But yeah, just, just start with my lesson. Just, just start with no. the ear or something. Yeah. Remember, remember the ears, remember there, just say no. Yeah. Right. The yeah. ear. Well, you the know gummy, what? The gummy I'm going to say no this time. Thank the, you, though. The gummy pinky toe or something. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> start, start <tripping> <laughs> the one time um, I almost overdosed on my medicines, I took my night meds twice. Thinking what? I forgot, thinking I forgot. Oh, that's right. I remember. I that. made it through the night, thankfully. Yeah, yeah, you were trying that's to sleep crazy. forever, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it was an accident. Oh, it, it was an accident. Right, okay, yeah. I know, well, of course. I know what it was. It was. Oh, Why is my, my keyboard Lord. changing colors? Oh, that's cool. Or I not. just noticed it was doing that. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Rainbow? Yeah, we tried something different tonight, y'all, with the, with the LED. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to see what lights. it looked like. What y'all think, man? Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I like it. it looks... I, mean, I think it, it feels cool. Adrian, or Tracy looks red. Whoa. <laughs> I don't really. Oh, I didn't turn the other. Oh, you got more? Yeah, back here. Go ahead. Got some more. Yeah, that's right. Oh, man, you hold now. You hold now. There, now I got the. It doesn't come out too soon. Hold on, I got to move. This guy want to rearrange mid show. Here we go. There we go. Look at that. Um, oh, did you see it? Oh yeah, you can see it. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, that's it's our LED episode. LED you know, we got to see what it looks like and uh, have fun with it. You know, the LED on. and we're talking about LHD. Yep. On okay. here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Lots of gummies. Yep. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh yeah, there's Malik's a shot. See, he's got the LEDs. But why you can't see this? The picture. Oh, what I mean, did you just say? He just said something racist. The picture. What? The Pistons thing. I oh, mean. I thought he said he said he'd see me in a, in the dark, man. I was gonna say, bro. Okay. No, the Pistons <laughs> right. thing behind you. I'm gonna slip a gummy in your drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put this over here. Melt it down. That's the case. That's the case. I glow in the dark. <laughs> you do glow in the dark. Watch. Look on camp. Oh, wrong one. There you are. Look at Watch when it switches over there. Hey, Look how red hey, you hey. are. You are glowing. You are glowing. Never mind. Tracy looks Puerto Rican. Right? Yeah, she does. <laughs> Hi, babe. How you doing? Uh -oh. Ooh. Hey. Yeah. Uh -oh. Okay, Tracy, go ahead. Yeah, there you go. See. Keep going. <laughs> Yeah. Go, babe. Hey. Oh, okay, Tracy. Oh. That's actually really hot. You, you know want, what? I'm you want me to home. take my clothes off right now? No. No, not in front of you. After the show. After oh. The show. <laughs> Tracy got her hair clipped the other day. Uh -huh. Is she just turned Puerto Rican? Oh, it's, it's a, about to go it's now. Like special? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That was the TLC. Red night special. Oh, Lord. All through the night. Yeah. I suck at singing. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah. We have a red light like special. What time is Malik's it? Malik's got to take over. It's just got heated. All right, there. Malik's going to take over the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I got these earphones. I don't want to hear nothing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking I'm taking the headphones and microphone with me. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. Just kidding. Wait, we just this show to do heights. Yeah. And we have uh, Ron Jeremy as a special yeah. <laughs> guest tonight. He told us how to do things. He taught me. <laughs> um be a video. You know, I'm not as good as he is. Maybe, yeah. you know. <laughs> that um, old bastard, I swear. That's crazy how he... Did he, didn't he just get arrested? I know. I don't know. I know I the other dude general. did that... Uh, that Flint dude, Larry Flint. Oh, Larry Flint, Flint. Yeah. yeah. Larry Flint. I thought he died. I think he did. Yeah, he probably did. He got arrested and died. He did. No. But, yeah. Him, him All right, well, it stand. is 9.40. We, uh, we were only going to go for 30 minutes, but uh, we can go for another 10. 
It's up to you. You know, I'm, I'm in uh, prison. You know what I'm saying? I don't Ron know Jeremy's what... in prison, they said. So he did go to prison. That's what I thought. Frank knows where his role model is. <laughs> Frank, how'd you know that? <laughs> Frank, Frank writes some letters. Yeah. <laughs> Frank didn't even look. Frank didn't even have to look that up. He already knew. Frank, send me a uh, picture of you wearing have that free round Jeremy shirt. Yeah. Have what? I met Frank? Or... Well, I think so. We've only... you, you know when you met Frank. I'll... Yeah. <laughs> Frank's the Martinez of the Martinez's. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling booms every month. <laughs> <laughs> I'm booms every month. Yeah, oh my God. Keep, keep them supplied with chili ramen noodles. <laughs> hot Cheetos. Some fi- Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Frank's Red, Frank's Red Hot Sauce. <laughs> 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 Oh, no, no, don't say big pickles in prison in the same. Yeah, don't ever say that in prison. Oh, no, he's Tracy. And don't ever drop the soap. Remember that one. Don't drop the soap. Well, you can drop the soap if you're a woman in prison. Yeah, that's different. Unless, the, unless there's a woman with a penis, then that's different. Ooh. Yeah, that's a whole different situation. Big Bertha. Yes. With hairy nipples. Ooh. You never know. Just stay out of trouble, Tracy. Is the yeah. <laughs> stay oh, out of prison. Stay away from Bertha. Yeah. <laughs> stay away from Bertha. <laughs> stay, yes, definitely. Don't do. Don't go in that direction. It's an old, dirty jungle of love. <laughs> That's funny, man. Yeah. But yeah, we uh. Wow, that went in. That escalated quickly. So what just happened? Yeah. We're talking about soybeans, and we got to Jer- Ron Jeremy's Ron commissary. Jeremy. Well, oh, I'm sorry. I wouldn't know until you we drop the soap. You might know until you drop the soap. She had a dong. Ah. <laughs> Frank said he had a dong. Who had a dong? Oh. The girl, the girl had a dong. That's jacked up. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, my. That's funny. That's a Frank, good one. Thanks, Frank. Frank. Thanks for the laughs. Frank, you know a lot about prison dogs. Yeah, let's let's talk about that. So, Frank, so Frank, no, 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 no. What? What? About, about, no, no, we ain't got to talk about Frank. And his <laughs> I mean, that's up to you. Have you want to talk about it? Frank, there's a boat over here for sale. Oh, yep. He inbox me, bro. I forgot to see the pictures. I'm it's the big boat. one. I ain't selling my boat. Hell no, it's a different. One. Oh, that's what I wondered. I thought you were. I thought you were selling the one that you just got. Oh no! And I was thinking, I'm like, why is he selling oh, that now? Oh, oh. like new Snoop Dogg. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a max phone? It's the like 14 foot flat bottom uh, aluminum boat. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's 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 gonna put some work in for sure. Yeah. Yeah, and that's then you cool. take it out on the lake. Not no, big lake. No, all just in the uh, lakes. Little lake. Yeah, just Bowles Pool. Like, 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 like a towel, maybe? No, I don't fuck with Lake Mac. It has to be a small lake. He talking about that damn 10 bucks deal. Oh, 10 bucks. He if offered you, you $10? If you'll, yeah. <laughs> you don't go throw that shit in the tank or buy a pack of gum. <laughs> yeah. So I know, right? Two packs. Buy one, get one right. free. Buy a little BOGO gum. BOGO, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the uh, Gatorade is buy three, oh, get awesome. one free. Buy three, get it. All right, buy two, get one free. I can't even drink that shit no more, bro. No. It's got a lot of salt in them. That's true. Yeah, they loaded with salt. still selling bracelets. One for three dollars. Excellent. Yeah, man. I'm looking forward to a good summer, though, man. Um, mm-hmm. Just the boat revived me when I got that. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. It's like, awesome. Yep. Just be able to <laughs> take just my son out. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Can, He's excited. can we get on your boat, too? I can fit a couple. People? But yeah. it's not like a pole like that. It's not like a party boat. We can... Lay out and shit. <laughs> but mm-hmm. The other one that how big my uncle selling is worth it, bro. Like yeah. I really wish I had a park to a place. To but park how many people can you fit on your boat just to fish? Good three. No, that's not bad. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's yeah. what I figured. Something. That's like a seven hundred and forty pound limit or something like that. So. 
Mm, that's good. So that's me good. and another person. No, <laughs> <laughs> me and a toddler. So pretty much you and Frank. Just me and my fishing pole. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. No, I don't know. I'll be afraid that bitch gonna sink. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's just, like someone sits and then. Yeah, it'll like, be over. That's why I offered him the other boat, the big one, the one mm-hmm. where him and his whole family can go on. Hey, pay attention oh, to the names. Uh, we need some censorship on this show. Jeez, kids are watching. Oh, sorry, oh, kids. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that, guys. I, where it's almost 10 o'clock. What are Parents, they doing? They up? need to be in bed. They got their last day of school tomorrow. That's right. So does our Yeah, they need to be fresh. They need to be ready. Right? So yeah, you're failing as parents school. right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, be the damn Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> the Titanic. Near, far, yeah. Near. Oh. I'm not gonna let go. Jack, I'll never let go. She killed Jack. You killed her. Rose, you're a bitch. No, Rose, how dare you let go? How dare you, how dare you let there go of our Jack? There's room on that wooden thing she was on. Yeah, you bitch. Yeah, that's true. See, anyway. let's, just, let's just roll with women. Y'all stuff to tell. <laughs> oh, so you, first, she told you don't touch the damn fruit on the tree. Exactly. And you did that shit. Oh, mm-hmm. but after, I after we gave you a rib. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but you guys did now, now, you know, ain't no room on a canoe or the boat. Exactly. And I was just talking about that with you guys the other day, remember? When we were driving around. And I said. Well, that was the the woman's fault. All this crap going on now. Then they didn't fucking listen. Y'all don't want to. I don't want to hear it. I know what I'm doing. I don't care what he said. I'm still going to do it. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat that apple. I eat it when you eat it. And he said, yeah, she ate it too. No, no, no. That's not how it worked. No, that's not what happened. No, he did not eat it. She fell. But because... He basically did like try to stop he her. her. He let her. He let her. <laughs> That's why we're not living forever now. That's why we gotta die. Yeah, exactly. But we could be living through that. Huh? Huh? And the other side will live forever. Yeah. That's, that's, that's yeah. Really uh, obviously, yeah. but we're talking about on um, you know now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like when I want to catch a Lions game, I can't go to all of them. Ever. Yeah. Exactly. Unbelievable. I tell and you out, out of all that time. One of those days we could be meeting all the players, having fun, mm. chilling. But it's all Adam and Eve's fault. Mm. But it's all so way back. Actually, let me back. rephrase that. It's right. Eve's no, fault. It goes back to the garden. <laughs> but remember Noah and his family? They, he listened and made the boat. The, right. The boat. Yeah, but that has yeah, nothing to do with that Eve. That has nothing to do with the tree of fruit. That, <laughs> and he let a snake talk you into it. The only reason why that happened was because... Everybody, nobody listened to to uh, God the second time around. Got, so he had to. Got manipulated by a blue racer. Yeah, it's a snake. Oh. It's a Michigan snake. It's not poisonous. Water. Oh, it says Facebook community standard says no cussing on public shows. Oh. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. No. Okay. We've been doing this for the last six months. We know what we're doing. <laughs> so we yeah, you got me thinking, Ruben. Gosh, darn it. You haven't been in Facebook jail? No. They, well, they don't have. Judas no. Priest, Ruben. They don't have I'm rules sorry. like that. Or else we would have been kicked off a long time ago. They like this shit. Yeah, F that I shit. I mean, this boo boo. This crap. You know this we excrement. Make, we should make our own gardens. Uh, fruits and vegetables. Get it going. Let's do it. I'm gay for that. Yeah, I have to put all oh, that note. You see, babe, you're not even paying attention. I read, I read something. Oh, sorry. It says, um, so these he she wanna bees needs no God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Yeah, um, don't get into that subject. That's no <laughs> yeah, that's a. Thing. We're definitely we'll we'll talk about that in another show. That's another, another, another show. It's another but, show. Uh, oh. Before we log off, we do got to mention Wednesday night's show. Uh, we're going to have Eric Lozano. Let's go, E! Er- oh, hold on one second. Eric, Eric Lozano on Wednesday night. Fair enough, baby. Everybody tune in for that one. That was going to be awesome. 
Man, dog, oh, this last Jeff fight, bro, I was yep. so excited to, it was just, I was a privilege to be in a room full of fellas. And I'm like, man, I know this dude personally, bro. I'm yeah, like, says, I mean, Facebook does not allow porn, so language is acceptable. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. That's a, that's a good one, Ruben. So, uh, just to like be personally connected to E. Eric, you know what I'm saying? It was just, and I'm just proud of him, bro. I said this before, yeah, like, exactly. Like, he's always been at it, you know what I'm saying? Boxing. It and, was great hanging with you. You know what I'm saying? Um, but. You. He Thanks for not that. He knocked that fucker out last game. Yeah, yeah, last did. match. He didn't even last. I only think Eric's was it like court? <laughs> <laughs> Did you seriously do that again? <laughs> no, no doubt, no, Frank. I'll see you soon, bro. Thanks for stopping by, Frank. Thank Appreciate you, Frank. you, bro. Appreciate you. But yeah, yeah Eric Lozano. What is his next fight? It's uh, June, June 23rd. The June 23rd. Yep. Fair Knuckle Boxing, Friday night, baby. Yep, exactly. Man, make sure you tune in and support him. Go to his page and uh, support, support him, bro. Him. Let yep. him know we root for him. See the Holland stand up. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And uh, I'm, I'm excited. He got a, he got a, a, a good fight coming up, but I, I know he's going to come through. Oh, yeah. So, you know, again, fr or fr why don't I keep saying Friday? Wednesday. Wednesday night. Wednesday at 9. Let me get that again. Wednesday night. At nine, we got Eric Lozano in person on the show. Stay tuned. Everybody, just have fun with that show because he's ready to go. He's ready to roll, baby. He's ready to talk about his next fight. I'm hoping to get a like a little video clip of him, of his fight, but um, yeah. we'll see how that goes. So, again, stay tuned. Wednesday night, Eric Lozano. Yeah. Hey. Let's go, E. All right. Well, that's going to be it for tonight. We appreciate everybody stopping by. We Love all, all of our guests, all of Peace our view, er, viewers. What? Peace and love. Yes, that too. Do that again. Uh, peace and love. Excellent choice, hey. baby. Excellent choice. Malik? Word. Good town. Holland. Love y'all. Yep. Let's get them in. Cool. All right. Well, thanks everybody for stopping by, like we said. And you have a good night. Peace.